the eagle attacked a snake, but it turned out to be a black mamba, one of the most venomous and aggressive reptiles. The eagle thought that it could deal with it in one strike, but didn't really know what he was getting himself into. The mamba not only resisted the bird, but also managed to bring it down to prevent it from taking flight. A struggle ensued, witnessed by a leopard. The cat decided to join the party. The eagle was in shock, the snake held it, and the cat struck its head. The mamba shouldn't be underestimated, so the leopard tries to keep its distance. However, it's too late for the eagle. And today we will show you other instances where snake enemies underestimated these reptiles and paid the price. In the battle between a cobra and a monitor lizard, the determining factor is the superiority in size. Snakes have a relatively thin body, which can be a problem when the opponent is a powerful monitor lizard with a dense body, muscular clawed limbs, and almost impenetrable tough skin. If the snake is about twice the size of the lizard, it can defeat it. However, the monitor lizard doesn't need to be longer than the snake to have the advantage. Even if they are equal in body length, the lizard's greater mass and physical strength make a significant difference. That's the case here. Moreover, the snake can't penetrate the lizard's skin. It's in real trouble since the legless reptile is defenseless against the lizard. Hence, they see the cobra as food. The monitor lizard's typical tactic is so vigorously shake its head to simultaneously drive its teeth deeper into the enemy's body and stun it with the rabid movement. And in the best case, it might manage to strike the snake's head against the ground. But when the cobra started hitting a vulnerable area of the lizard's skin, it began using this tactic with special fierceness. The snake doesn't give up, continuing to fend off the attacks. The monitor lizard didn't expect such resistance, but refuses to surrender and release its opponent. Whom are you rooting for today? Let us know in the comments. However, in this case, the monitor lizard shouldn't have underestimated its opponent. It surpasses it in strength and arsenal, but the cobra uses all its abilities to prevent the lizard from emerging victorious. Unlike the python, the cobra can't strangle such a massive opponent. However, it hinders the lizard's breathing, preventing it from moving sharply, and fights with all its might. The monitor lizard made a wrong choice of an opponent. The cobra still held on long enough to break through its defense and inject its venom. You do agree that such mastery and self-defense deserves your life, doesn't it? This crocodile tried to attack an anaconda. This snake is not nearly large enough to hunt a mighty reptile like this predator independently. However, it managed to give it unexpectedly worthy and powerful resistance. The jaws of crocodiles are extremely powerful, so the predator's bite surely caused pain and internal damage to the snake. Moreover, breaking free from such an enemy's grip is not possible. If the anaconda tried, the crocodile's embedded teeth would only hurt the snake more. Instead, it went on the counterattack and coiled its long body around the crocodile's neck. The snake is not large enough to strangle the crocodile. For a confident victory over such an opponent, it needs to be about twice as long. Here, on the contrary, the crocodile is twice as large and five times more massive than the anaconda. But even though it can't crush or break the snake's neck, the snake continues to resist desperately. Even injured, it firmly clings in its embrace. This yielded results. The crocodile couldn't be strangled, but breathing became much more difficult. In shock, it opened its mouth wide. Nevertheless, the snake doesn't hurry to release its grip. If it tries to retreat, the enemy might bite it again. So the python continues to maintain its hold. Such stubbornness and strength were certainly unexpected. The alligator grabbed the anaconda right by the head. The powerful jaws of the fearsome reptile crushed the snake, squeezing its skull into the sharp teeth sank deeper. However, the anaconda is an incredibly strong snake that shouldn't be underestimated. It didn't attempt to free itself from the enemy's grip. Instead, the anaconda lunged at the alligator and entwined it with its entire body. 
The snake turned out to be about two and a half times longer than the alligator. Due to excellent camouflage, the alligator didn't immediately realize how great its opponent actually was, and now it's too late to retreat. The alligator tightens its jaws even more. Its only hope is to crush the snake's head before it crushes the alligator entirely. But the anaconda is not only bold, but also powerful. It doesn't limit itself to a few coils. It entwines the alligator completely. When people arrived at the sounds of the battle, they saw that the snake had practically hidden the enemy under the thickness of its rings. Blood pressure rises in the vessels and internal organs suffer severe damage. Gradually, the alligator's bones give way and do not withstand, and its sharp splinters embedded into the lungs and heart. The alligator's bite is too powerful. The snake will never crawl out to hunt again, but it took the opponent with it. There was no clear winner in this duel. So attacking an adult anaconda can never be a good idea. Mongooses are considered invincible snake hunters, but each battle with a venomous reptile is a serious risk, even for the most agile and experienced mongoose. Battles between mongooses and cobras are particularly impressive. Strangely enough, more often than not, it's the reptile that plays the role of the attacked victim. A confident mongoose attacks one of the most poisonous snakes, considering it just a hearty meal. Both the mongoose and the cobra rely on speed, but in completely different ways. The snake lacks limbs, so what matters is how quickly it can strike with its head and sink its venomous fangs into the prey. It's not enough just to touch. It needs to pierce the skin and inject neurotoxins. The mongoose relies on its paws, allowing it to swiftly bounce off the enemy, spin around, maneuver, and attack. When opponents engage in close combat, the mongoose can use its paws to help push the snake away, or conversely, pull it in to hold it for that decisive bite. The mongoose's sharp and strong teeth are its weapons, attempting to inflict dangerous wounds on the snake first and then finish it off. Usually, mongooses aim for the opponent's head using the most dangerous tactic, since the jaws house venomous fangs. But when the mongoose grabs the skull, biting the head and neck of the enemy from above, the snake can't wriggle and counterattack. Therefore, the mongoose's very risky tactic is usually the most effective. It's no wonder that in a battle with a mongoose, even large cobras often take a defensive stance, raising their heads and spreading their hood. Cobras never do this for hunting. They just pounce on prey for a bite. But the mongoose's speed is frightening. Even light bites from its sharp teeth can easily pierce the snake's scales and the final attack on the head often deals fatal damage. The mongoose behaves confidently, but sometimes it overestimates its own strength. The creature is vulnerable to cobra victim. And here, exactly what the little hunter should have feared happened. The cobra managed to reach it and inject its toxin. Just note, the snake is not going to eat the mongoose. This was self-defense. The beast attacked the snake, and only the stunning speed of the throw saved the cobra. Thanks to its long body, it additionally entwined the mongoose, but now it releases the rings and crawls away. It survived, and underestimating the cobra was a mistake. These swift gazelles approaching the watering hole cautiously, as a crocodile might be lurking there. However, this place is safe because the depth is too small for the huge predator to hide in the water, isn't it? Yes, the crocodile indeed cannot sneak up unnoticed. But a python is entirely capable of it. These hoofed animals certainly didn't expect such a lightning-fast attack from a legless snake. These gazelles are among the fastest runners on the planet. But the python's lightning-fast lunge was like a shot. The snake ejected its body from the murky water and seized the prey before the gazelles could even leap away. But that's not it. The python didn't give the gazelle a chance to fight. It instantly coiled around it with its entire body, as if gravity had no power over the snake. 
between the bite and strangulation less than two seconds passed. Without slow motion footage, it's challenging to see all the details of the attack. Just note that to use the full length of its body, the python not only pushes off the bottom during the strike, but also pulls itself forward and towards the prey using its neck muscles. After entwining its prey, the python immediately starts to strangle it. The gazelle struggles desperately but can't do anything about it. It has been skillfully immobilized. The python tightens the coils gradually, making each subsequent breath more difficult for the victim. The python inexorably strangles it, and soon the prey's resistance comes to an end. The gazelle's muscles simply run out of strength. The python breaks the gazelle's bones and begins its feast. A hyena roamed the savanna in search of food, but didn't really know that it would become lunch itself. A huge python caught the predator. The struggle was off camera, but the operator managed to capture its outcome. The hyena is defeated. Although its powerful jaws could have torn the snake apart, the python blocked them. In addition, the massive snake managed to paralyze the hyena's limbs and its entire body with its coils. The python's length is approximately twice that of a hyena. But the reptile's main advantage is not its size, but its strength. The entire body from the neck to the tail section of the python is a weapon. Tight and powerful muscles can instantly contract and squeeze the victim with incredible force. This not only hampers breathing, but also causes damage to internal organs, increases blood pressure, and crushes bones. So after falling into the python's trap, the hyena had almost no chance. The python usually seizes the prey after the first precise bite. Then it strangles an adult hyena within minutes. The cheetah thought its incredible speed would allow it to easily deal with the snake. It cautiously attacked the reptile, and only this saved the spotted predator's life and dies. After all, it made a mistake in choosing the target, attacking not just any snake, but a spitting cobra. These reptiles hunt just like any other snakes, living in an ambush or stealthily approaching the prey to deliver a venomous bite with their fangs and inject powerful poison into the prey's body. However, for self-defense against large and swift enemies, they've developed a huge, unique tactic that is nothing like their hunting method. The cobra raises itself above the ground and spreads its hood. If the opponent doesn't retreat after this warning, then the snake shoots venom at them. The channels delivering toxin to the venomous fangs are directed not downward, but forward. By contracting special muscles, the cobra releases a stream of venom in a wide arc. During the shot, it twists its head to ensure the drops of venom hit as much area as possible. The cheetah was lucky. It was cautious and careful enough not to get too close to the enemy. The venom only hit the fur, which posed only a slight discomfort. But if it had approached one step closer, the cobra would have hit it in the eyes. A sufficient amount of toxin when hitting the eyes corrodes the cornea, risking irreversible vision loss. Fortunately, producing such venom is a quite complex task, and the cobra saves its primary weapon for later. This allows the cheetah to retreat to a safe distance. It remained unharmed, but it will not ever approach this cobra ever again. Sea snakes may seem entirely harmless compared to formidable and aggressive tapans or cobras. Indeed, these reptiles preferring water have a mild temperament. They rarely attack large creatures and try to avoid conflict whatsoever. To avoid this, sea snakes have a body well adapted for swimming. Their tail section is flat and elongated like a fin. Thanks to this, along with their slender, flexible body and small head, these reptiles can quickly escape threats. They can also slip into any crevice or shelter. Their favorite prey is fish. Due to the vibrant life and a variety of species in warm waters around coral reefs, there is high competition amongst living creatures. This stimulates the development of different tactics for predators into their prey to confront each other. 
Here, the fish thought that it was safe. Its slender body allowed it to slip into a very small dark crevice, making it almost impossible to detect. Additionally, the fish's body is narrow but elongated, making it challenging to grab and pull out of its hiding place. But underestimating sea snakes is not advisable. The reptile effectively tracks its prey underwater and quickly finds appetizing fish there. It lunges at the fish, which didn't have time to escape or resist. One bite and the snake is already swallowing its target. Sea snakes are among the few reptiles that can only bite but also swallow prey underwater without the risk of choking. Moreover, their throat is stretchable, allowing the reptile to even swallow fish of awkward shapes. There are several different species of sea snakes, but despite variations in color and other differences, they all share a quite slender body and a small head. Interestingly enough, the moray eel looks much more menacing with its terrifying jaws, glassy eyes, powerful teeth, and wide, flat, long body. The moray eel is a fish, but it looks more like a dangerous snake than sea snakes themselves. Apparently, the effectiveness of self-image work made the moray eel underestimate its opponent. Instead of quickly fleeing upon seeing a sea snake, the larger and more powerful moray eel went into battle. It wants to fight the snake and eat it, diversifying its menu. The moray eel just didn't know who it was dealing with. The sea snake bravely engages in battle and sinks its teeth into the opponent. Although the reptile's body is slender, it's incredibly strong. The more massive fish seem stronger only at first glance. Due to more developed musculature, the snake surpasses the opponent and easily overwhelms it, even though it looks twice as thin. The confrontation of sea inhabitants looks dynamic and epic as opponents twist, try to entwine each other, and simultaneously swim in the water, maintaining balance. The moray eel can no longer hide in the crevices between corals. The snake has tightly clamped onto it and started to swallow. The fish has no strength left to resist. The thing is, sea snakes are the most venomous in the world. Of course, the moray eel didn't know that a small, agile opponent could defeat it with a single light bite. The blood circulatory system of fish is fundamentally different from that of a terrestrial creatures. Sea snakes lived on land hundreds of thousands of years ago, but with each generation, they increasingly moved into the sea. Gradually, but inevitably, reptiles fully, or almost fully, transitioned to an aquatic lifestyle. However, the toxin that effectively protected them from predators on land didn't really work on fish. Due to the peculiarities of the structure, the poison simply didn't affect them. Indeed, if, for example, a black mamba were to bite a fish, it wouldn't be a problem for the marine creature. Just imagine, an inhabitant of your aquarium can survive the impact of a toxin that would stop an elephant's heart. How did sea snakes solve this problem? Surprisingly, over thousands of generations of development, the organism sea snakes simply strengthened the toxin it already had, instead of forming a new formula that would only work for fish. As a result, the poison of modern sea snakes can cope with a young whale. And moreover, it easily and quickly does the same with a moray eel. Alas, the duel ends quite quickly, and the sea snake transformed from the moray's prey into a predator that swallows the fearsome fish. The feeding process looks frightening, as the snake expands almost twice as size when swallowing the long and large moray. An anaconda slithered through the jungle in search for food. Like other snakes, it explores the surroundings not only with the sight, but also with smell, constantly flicking its forked tongue. Finally, one of the longest snakes in the world noticed a caiman resting on a pile of leaves. Witnesses claim that the largest anaconda can exceed 18 feet in length. The evidence is scant, but you have to admit, if you encounter such a huge reptile in the jungle, you are not going to try to measure that with a tape measure, but you're going to run away as fast as possible. 
This anaconda is much smaller, but the caiman it found is also young. However, when the snake had already approached it within striking distance, the caiman unexpectedly lunged at her. The best of defense is a good offense, right? The anaconda dodged and didn't allow the caiman's powerful jaws to grab its head. But the caiman celebrated victory in vain. It got involved with the wrong snake here, which could not be easily deterred with a single blow. The anaconda is strong on land, but its full potential is revealed in the water. Thanks to the buoyancy of the water supporting the snake's weight, its maneuverability increases exponentially. There are reptiles longer than the anaconda, but it is the most massive, meaning the most muscular, snake on the planet. So the caiman is wasting time chilling on the beach with capybara friends. As soon as it approaches the water, the anaconda attacks again. The details of the battle are left off camera because everything happens too quickly. A few seconds later, the anaconda completely entwined the caiman with its body. Instead of trying to strangle it by squeezing just the neck, the snake affects the entire body of the reptile and suppresses its resistance. And when its coils inflict critical damage to the enemy's internal organs, the snake swallows the caiman whole. Which instance of snakes overcoming their adversaries impressed you today the most? Share your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be able to see new epic stories from the world of wildlife.